Hello and welcome to this video. I'm going to be talking to you about some of the updates that are coming to Microsoft Teams very, very shortly. Hello and welcome along to this video. Today I'm going to be sharing with you some of the updates that are coming out my opinions of these updates and the status of these updates so when we might be expecting them okay so the first one on the list is the most anticipated update that is supposed to be coming to teams was supposed to drop air this year microsoft have kept us in anticipation for this one and it is breakout rooms we still don't have breakout rooms i mean come on microsoft but what do we need to do i remember doing a video way back at the beginning of the year talking about breakout rooms and saying it's finally coming and yet here we are the end of 2020 and we're still waiting for breakout rooms not quite sure what the hold up is here but i do know microsoft did have this in their tenant and then they took it away from their employees which usually is the indication that it's going to be in full release very soon um, but that was uh, about a month or, or so ago so we're still waiting for that one um, the latest update on this is december um, we are now in December, so hopefully we may start seeing it in some of our tenants out there across the world. Something I have noticed today, though, is that Microsoft now have some notes around it. So admin notes uh, and user notes around breakout rooms. So that is a good sign that something may be coming very, very, very shortly with that one. Um, for those of you who don't know what breakout rooms is, it's where you can have a meeting within Teams and you can break out into separate rooms. Um, I'm not going to go into too many details around it. This video is just for a quick update of what's coming um, very, very shortly. The next one then for me is end of meetings notifications. So this is where the, the, the top of our meeting bar, we get a five minute notification warning um, appearing up there. This hasn't dropped yet. It was supposed to be dropping November, December time. Again, we are now in December, so hopefully we'll be seeing this um, very, very soon. I think I did speak to someone last week in a Teams meeting who, who did say they had seen it pop up. So hopefully we'll be out there for us very, very soon. The next one then is meeting chat moderation. This is where we can control who can chat within our meeting in pre-meeting, during meeting and post-meeting. So we've got that three stages of our meeting. And within this meeting chat moderation, then we can control when we allow the attendees um, to take part in that chat during or pre or post of our meeting. That was supposed to drop in December, but I noticed today that it is now saying January time, 2021. So again, not holding my hopes up for this one to come in January, maybe a little bit later as we're not seeing breakout rooms yet or end of meeting everywhere. But Microsoft are now saying January, so let's hope January time we do see that meet and chat moderation. That's going to be really key for especially in um, the education sector when they really want to lock down some of these virtual um, teaching lessons that are going on where we don't want students to, to start talking pre or post meeting in that chat. Another one then is public preview for end users. I did read about this back in, in November and the, the indication was that it was being rolled out in November. I don't see this in an admin panel and I don't see my option from the about. So again, I can't find any dates today. So apologies for, for not having a key date on this one of when this should be dropping. But it should be coming very, very soon. There are notes out there um, around this update. And this means you can give users the ability to enable this public preview of Microsoft Teams so they get the newest updates faster than your standard end users within your organization. So again, real, real good um, update here from Microsoft. Not there yet. Hopefully it will be soon. But when it does get there, we will be able to be able to see some of these updates that happen before they actually do get full release. And then one very final one quickly is around Microsoft Stream. As some of you may have seen, Microsoft Stream is migrating um, from what is new stream at the minute, I guess we call it, is migrating now to OneDrive and SharePoint for our videos. This has started to happen and there is a PowerShell script out there that you can run, which then now saves the videos into users OneDrives or into SharePoint if we're doing a team channels meeting. Just something to note right now, though, if you do enable this, you do lose all the accessibility features that you get within Microsoft Stream. So this is going to be forced upon us anyway to, to do this, but I don't know what's happening with the accessibility features if they're coming. Well, 
I would hope they're coming, but when they're coming, I should say, sorry, um, within the, the OneDrive and the SharePoint videos here. But we can still, if this gets enabled in your organization, we can still upload our videos again to Microsoft Stream because it is still there, still accessible for us to use. But what might happen is your meetings may start saving into your OneDrive or the person that triggers the meeting recordings OneDrive or the SharePoint that's attached to your team. This does bring in real nice new ways of sharing that content though, that meeting video, that meeting recording. We can now start sharing it externally because as we know, Microsoft Stream was an internal application where we couldn't share it externally across the outside of our organization. But now, because we're gonna be using OneDrive or SharePoint, we can now have the possibility of sharing that externally um, with people outside our organization if we need to. Right, folks, that was my real quick roundup of what's coming. It's the, the end of the month, and I will be doing these videos more often to give you a quick roundup of some of the updates that are coming very, very soon. So please do tune in for my next monthly update review. Thank you.